Review. 2021 Jeep Wrangler 4Z. But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. By now, you should know that Jeep, and the broader Stellantis organization, are going all in on electrification, and it's about damn time. But while the timeline for an all-electric Jeep is unclear, the off-road brand is pushing forward with plug-in hybrid models wearing the 4Z badge, pronounced for by EE, not for XEE. We won't debate the merits of going PHEV rather than EV here, but what we will say is there's a great deal to like about the first product in the range, the Wrangler 4Z. Clearly customers agree, as the gas-electric Wrangler was the best-selling PHEV during the second quarter of 2021. But while the powertrain is radically different for the industry's most tradition-focused automaker, the fundamental Jeep experience carries on unfazed, for better or worse, in the 4Z. Respect to Jeep for leaning into the Wrangler 4Z's different powertrain with visual accenting. If you go for a Rubicon, like our tester, the electrified Jeep is instantly recognizable on the road thanks to its electric blue touches. The traditional Jeep tow hooks wear the shade, while it's also found on the hood decal, outlining the Rubicon lettering on the hood sides and on the fender badging. There's also a subtle 4Z badge below the driver's side taillight. In the cabin, the electric blue replaces the Rubicon's traditional red contrast stitching and lends a bright, vibrant character to the otherwise drab black leather. Jeep replaced the anodized red dash applique with a leatherette finish bisected by additional contrast stitching. These touches do little to reinvent the Wrangler's snug cabin, but they're visual reminders about that gas-electric powertrain. We won't harp on the tight quarters here, but it's clear Jeep designers ran out of real estate considering the poor location of the PHEV controls. There are three buttons, tucked out of the driver's sight line near their left knee, to cycle between electric power, hybrid power, and a battery save mode. It's an ergonomically poor spot in a cabin that's already bursting with buttons and knobs and controls. As luck would have it, the first drive program for the Ford Bronco sat smack dab in the middle of our Wrangler Rubicon 4Z loan. Funny, that. And if you've read our piece on Ford's revived off-roader, you'll know that we found the far roomier cabin a pleasant reprieve from the Wrangler's tight confines. The Wrangler's small pedal box, limited shoulder room, and ultra-short dash are claustrophobic at best. As has been the case for ages, the Wrangler's main opponent to a high comfort score is its uncivilized and occasionally unstable ride. Shod in 33-inch BF Goodrich KO2 tires, carrying solid axles at both ends, and cursed with a dull and imprecise electrohydraulic steering rack, the Wrangler is difficult to manage at speed, especially on rougher roads. Larger imperfections can send the steering wheel into a fit of out-of-control wobbling. The PHEV powertrain is quieter than either of its gas-only siblings, operating silently in electric mode and at a hushed volume when the turbocharged 2.0-liter engine is at work. But as we've experienced before with that four-pot, it gets noisy and rough north of 3,000 revolutions per minute. That said, with the help of the electric motor, we rarely had cause to push that hard. Our tester's Sky One Touch roof, meanwhile, kept better control of wind noise than the traditional hardtop, and it's worth noting, wind control is one area where the Jeep easily bests the Wrangler. Road noise and tire roar remain substantial issues, though.
We all look at the same world, but we all look at it in a different way. Some say concept, ideas are beautiful. At first, they are inside you. Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.